Are you involved in the situation? Are you comfortable, Steve? Are you comfortable? Okay, thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Hello. So, we were, me and him were looking at the house, just checking it out from here, and um, she came up behind us, got a gas can, and at first she just seemed to be kind of like, oh, I don't this happened to be using a gas can yeah. to water the plants. And then she had trouble getting it open, so eventually she unscrewed the top and threw it to the ground and walked up on the porch and under the rope and started dumping the gas all over the porch. So instantly it's like, okay, this is not good. And, and then so we could smell the gas. That it was <laughs> gas. So she came back down. She dumped the, she dropped the can in the bushes and then came back down to grab her lighter. So let's go ahead and Bro, she literally ran up. It smells like nothing but gas out here. She ran up to the porch, ran up to the plants, poured it all over the gas. Had the lighter and bro out here, white dude right here. He I don't know up. why her asking the girl if she was comfortable made me feel some kind of way. This youngster tried to set Martin Luther King's uh, birth house on fire. Some of y'all might come on here and say, well, that's mental illness. Huh? Well, you know, we talk too much shit up to mental illness. Um, I, I would rather say lack of respect. Lack of respect. Let me tell you something. There's a debate, a raging debate that's been going on forever. What's wrong with, what's wrong with us? What's wrong with our community? What's wrong with our community? And usually when you have these conversations, it doesn't matter who's saying it. It doesn't matter what what, what political uh, party they belong to or what their social economical status is. They'll say lack of unity. I always reject that. I reject it. It's not a lack of unity. That's the problem with the black community right now. It's a lack of respect. It's a lack of common courtesy and respect. Whatever that is in us, and it's in me, it's in all of us, and I, I, I fight against it all the time to get rid of that shit. Whatever it is with us that make us do this shit here, man, man, fuck them folk, man. Come on, come on. Fuck them. There be all right. Fuck that. Come on. That shit there, where we completely are dismissive, full of boundaries, of, of standard of SOPs and stuff like that, that's the shit. That's the shit, because you will never have unity with somebody who perceives that you are indifferent to them. And I blame social media. I blame social media. So, to level the playing field, it's done a bang-up job of that. But the unforeseen consequence is that we have lost sight of the pecking order. We've lost sight of it. I say it all the time. We, what we are witnessing is the death of expertise. Death of facts. It's the death of subject matter experts. Of the, the death of revered figures. The death of history, the death of admiration of, uh, of admirable accomplishments, we, we, that's what we're watching. Let me tell you something. Everybody think they're the same. Everybody think that this youngster had no reverence for Martin Luther King. None whatsoever. Whatsoever. Fuck him. I don't care about him. That's a disease that's floating around. I'll give you an example. Let me, let me draw you into, into my world. One time there's an A-list comic. A-list comic. Here. A-list comic. Performing at a comedy club here in Atlanta. The way it works is that's their night. This, this is their weekend. These sold out shows, all those people here is to see that person. They're here to see that person and that person only. That person's safe space in between being on stage is the green room. The headliner comic controls the freaking green room. Who's in the green room? Who's not in the green room? It's their show. What they say goes. Some headlines are lenient. They'll have they'll allow people to be back there. And it's usually a treat. If you're a new comic or a newer comic and you get to hang back in the green room, that's a treat. And be seen and not heard. That's a treat for you. But a lot of comics, you know what I'm saying? And it's understandable. They want to get their head right. This is where they, they, they meditate or whatever. This is their safe space. This is where they slow down and gather their thoughts. They don't want nobody in their green room. New comic. Open micer. Not getting booked no damn well. Ended up in the green room with this A-list comic. Couldn't control their mouth. Talking like they on the same level as the person. Person got pissed, kicked them out. And, and then when the person kicked them out, I don't know who the hell they think they are. They put their pants on the same way I do. No, 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 no. Y'all not the same. You are not the same. You are not even close to the same. You are not even in the same universe. But today people are conditioned. You're conditioned to think that ain't nobody no better than me. No, 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 no. Wrong. 
wrong. I don't care what your self-help coach told you. I don't care what your mammy told you. I don't care what your pastor told you. There are people who are above you. There are people who you are above. If that's the way it works. That's a pecking order in life. The more you learn, accomplish, and sacrifice, the higher your ranking is in this thing called life. You don't just automatically get there because you will it to be. But this is a sad day. This is a sad day to see that that youngster had just that lack of respect for arguably the greatest icon that we have in our, in our community.